So Apple hasn't mentioned much about Apple Music in iOS 17, but I've actually found a bunch of new features and changes in iOS 17 that if you use Apple Music in your daily life, you're going to love. Starting off with this beautiful, dynamic, animated artwork. As you can see, the Barbie logo just got animated and it's not just this artwork right here. Um, another one that I love is this one, Positions by Ariana Grande. As you can see, it will actually start moving now. Olivia Rodrigo also looks pretty awesome since so it's it like flashes on the screen. Check Kill Bill right here. Look how the ocean moves and birds will pass through right now. As you can see, it looks stunning. But I gotta say my favorite one goes to Coldplay. Check out how the planets move and how this animation right here, you'll see how the planet just goes through the actual UI. Let me know in the comments right now, what's your favorite animated artwork? I think mine has to go to My Universe by Coldplay. It just feels like it was meant to be. So this right here is iOS 16, and as you can see, the menu bar in the bottom is like that. But as you can see over here in iOS 17, it's actually been changed and it's, act it's actually got like this floating design. So no matter what you are tapping through, it will stick through here, but it's, it feels like it's floating. And then if you actually tap, it behaves the same thing, but that has been redesigned. Something that Apple released, which is super exciting is collaborative playlists. So you'll be able to create playlists with your friends, with your wife, Super exciting. It's not available yet. Currently, it's coming later this year. I'm using this app called Cassette. I've mentioned it before in the channel. So if you want to make collaborative playlists now, it actually synchronizes with Apple Music, which is pretty cool. So as you can see, Chenya added these songs and I added this one and it actually syncs to Apple Music, which is pretty cool. So collaborative playlists are coming natively. I feel kind of bad for Cassette because the app will kind of be a little bit useless, yes. I I've loved the app so far, so. Now a feature that Spotify users always had that Apple Music users always wanted was crossfade between songs and it's finally available on Apple Music, which is super exciting. So what crossfade basically does is, let's say where she goes by Bat Bunny, while this song is ending, El Tonto, for example, will sync it through, like, you know, someone's doing like this DJ mix. Spotify users, as I said, always had it. It's a feature that I just always wanted, so I'm just so happy it's finally here. Now, something very annoying when going on road trips is whoever wants to play the music, well, it's the only person that can play the music. And then if somebody else wants to play a song, well, they have to grab, hey sister, can you give me your phone? I wanna play a song. And then, you know, your brother has your sister's phone. It's kind of a mess. So what Apple has done is share play through CarPlay. So now Apple Music, if you go on a car ride, everybody will be able to connect to CarPlay so anybody can play a song. This might be a mess if you've got a family that just always wants to put their songs and there's just music changing every time. But if you are a responsible family, well, this could be a lot, a lot of fun. It's a feature that I love because I always wanted to, all right, disconnect your phone through Bluetooth. Now I'll connect. It was a mess. Now anybody can play music so the party never stops. Be careful on the road. Don't party too hard on the road. Be safe out there. A very small change. This is iOS 16 right here. Do you see the waveform animation? Well, that has been changed because as you can see, the waveform now goes through the middle. It's a very, very small design change, but definitely love this one so much better. Here's another design change. If you go on view full lyrics, the design has actually been changed. This is the way that it looks in iOS 16. And if we tap view full lyrics, this is the way that it looks. So the text has actually been bold. As you can see here, it's on light. And here it's bold. Looks way much better and way much more readable. Something else that's new in iOS 17 is interactive widgets. So if we actually go ahead and select, there's a couple Apple Music ones that are new, first of all. And let's go ahead and add this one. And as you can see, I can actually play a song directly from the home screen, which is sick. So you can see there's also this one, there's a bunch of them. So I love the fact that I can play music directly from the home screen without needing to open the Apple Music app. Here's an awesome design decision, but if I actually tap this artwork that is red, so you can see the whole UI changes red. And if I tap this one, which is kind of bluish and whitish, it will turn gray. This is sick. So here's the different widgets that you can actually choose from. We've got listening activity. So you can see the currently playing song and quickly access the music. You've got this one, which is the listening activity, but with the long format. You've got this one, which is the listening activity, but you've actually got different playlists and different recently added that you've actually done in the middle. You've actually got recommendations that Apple Music actually gives you. So it might be cool to just, you know, discover new music directly from the home screen. And this one's sick because it's the top chart from your country 
always accessible for you. I also wanted to show you the Apple Watch app because it's completely been redesigned from the ground up. As you can see, this is a brand new view with these tiles, which look absolutely beautiful that have a gradient of the actual album artwork. Something that I always wanted was this right here on the top right, which is the now playing icon. It previously had, it had its own Apple Watch app, but it didn't really make sense. Now it's just always on the top right. It's always accessible, which by the way, the now playing has also been completely redesigned. And it really reminds me of the actual iPhone app. So if we tap this right here, we can skip the song. And if you actually tap on the artwork, it goes full screen. It looks stunning. If we actually go back, this has also been redesigned because the now playing is now on the top as well. We tap on library, we've got all of our album artwork right here. But I love the fact that the Apple Watch app has been redesigned. It's crazy how many features there are inside of Apple Music that Apple just didn't talk about. So if you use Apple Music, well, you probably use the AirPods. And there's actually a couple new AirPods features that I'm sure you're going to love if you're on iOS 17. Now, I've actually made an entire video about the AirPods, so you can check that one out. But I wanted to show you the main one, which is the one that, you know, it's probably the biggest new feature. So let me put my AirPods on. As you can see right here, there is now a new noise control. So we've always had transparency and noise cancellation, but now there's adaptive mode and it basically combines transparency mode and noise cancellation into one. So basically if you're out in the street and you hear this crazy construction work, you'll hear a little bit more noise cancellation. But if someone's talking to you, transparency mode will go on. So it basically goes back and forth. It's awesome. It works extremely, extremely well. And what's crazy about this is right now I've got my AirPods on and I can actually hear my voice better than if I actually turn these off. It's kind of a surreal experience. So if you actually want to learn everything that's new about the AirPods in iOS 17, you can tap this video right here, or you can check this right here, which is everything that's new in general in iOS 17.